What is going on everyone, Hayden here, back at you with another video, and I just wanted to say thank you. Thank you for all the love and support, everybody subscribing to the channel, dropping likes and comments on every video. I appreciate it. I woke up to another 20, 25 subscribers today, which is awesome to see. Glad you guys are liking the content, so I'm gonna keep coming at you with fire videos every single day. I've got my notes, so we're gonna jump into this one talking about the must-have Shopify apps, all the plugins you need. I'm gonna give you my top four, what I think is absolutely 100% necessary in the beginning, so let's jump right in. I'm gonna try my best to try and put these in the order I think you should get them. Number one is definitely gonna be Oberlo. That's how you're gonna add your products from AliExpress into your Shopify store. That's the middle step. I believe it's free. If not, they have a trial like every other app. So what Oberlo does is it basically pushes the product from AliExpress into Oberlo and then you push it from there to your store. So if you open up Oberlo inside of Google Chrome, you're actually gonna be able to go to AliExpress and there'll be a little blue button in the upper right corner. I don't know which I guess it's flipped here, but upper right corner. And if you click that, you can just add it into Oberlo and then just go to your Oberlo account. You can push it over to your store. Then it's going to be inside your Shopify store. You can go edit it, change all the pictures, product description, everything you need to do. But Oberlo is what's actually going to let you add that from AliExpress into your Shopify store. But also that's where you're going to fulfill your orders, right? You'll understand this more once you actually start getting orders inside your Shopify store, but it's going to track all of that. You're going to go through inside of Oberlo when you get an order. You'll actually be hitting the fulfill button inside of Oberlo, which is going to then translate that into Shopify. It's signals that and then removes the pending order inside of Shopify. So you'll just click on the product inside of Oberlo, go order that person's size or whatever, or if you have a VA or whoever you've hired to do that. But obviously in the beginning, if you're just getting a couple orders every day or week, you'll just do it yourself. But you'll actually be doing that inside of Oberlo, not through Shopify. You'll take their information from inside of Shopify in the order that they placed. You'll be copy pasting their name, their address, where they live, all those different things. But you're going to actually go through Oberlo with that and click fulfill, which will then translate that into Shopify. I hope that makes sense. Number two is a complete 100% must have. There is no argument there. You have to have this and that's better shipping. Now what this allows you to do is actually set the individual shipping price for each product, which saves you the biggest hassle ever, which I get so many questions about inside of Shopify itself where you'd have to go in, change each product's weight, and then go inside the shipping and change the weight, have different prices, which is just the biggest pain in the ass. But better shipping is gonna allow you to just set the price for each individual product. You just change the price, click update, and you're good to go. That's the fastest, easiest way. I think it's like, five or 15 bucks or something a month. That is a great investment. You have to be doing that. It's gonna save you so much time and anger when actually trying to deal with your shipping. Number three, we're gonna talk about email marketing here and that is with consistent cart. This is where I do all my email follow-ups, mostly for abandoned carts because you can recover so many of those. And that's a great way because those people have already gone to your store through paid promotion, organic traffic or whatever, expressed interest in a product, added it to their cart, and then started to go through the checkout process. So it's a lot easier to revive those people and just continuing to try and bring new customers in. So make sure you're taking advantage of that. This is where I send multiple follow-up emails as well as notifications, which is kind of cool. Check that out, definitely look into that. I think it's like five bucks or something. Great investment, definitely something you should have. Number four, the last, final, and most interesting one, Herify. Now this one's pretty awesome and it's gonna be super crucial if you're doing free plus shipping, discount, promotion offers, any of that, which is definitely what you'll be doing if you're running any sort of traffic, right? Nobody's just gonna go buy a retail product because there's no special offer. Why would they really be interested in it? You'll get a lot less purchases. So what this allows you to do is actually add a timer onto the product page as well as a quantity of that product countdown. So you could have it say only six hours left or only 13 available and then right when they land on it, they see that 13 drop to 12, something like that, or they're seeing the timer countdown for your special offer. That adds so much scarcity and that's going to help push people over the edge, add it to cart, go through checkout, all that. That's definitely something you're going to fall in love with. It's going to be huge, huge, huge when it comes to adding scarcity and actually increasing your conversion rates. So those are the top four apps I'd recommend you use right off the bat. If you've already had your store up and running for a month or two and you don't have one of those or a couple of those, definitely be sure to look into them and get them because I think it's going to help you out a lot. I hope this video brought you guys some value. Definitely hit that subscribe button and be sure to like the video if you want me to keep uploading every single day. And if you happen to have any video suggestion ideas, just drop them in the comments below below or shoot me a message on Instagram. I'll, I'll put that in the description below. With that being said, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.